Hi, this is John from Remotify.io and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can create a reaction mapping in Control Surface Studio which will turn the LED on and off of a button on your MIDI controller based on the position of the master volume. So if I move this up and down you can see the LED turning on and off. And what's happening is I've set a point around about here, which is around about the 25% point of the volume, which when it goes above, turns the LED on, and when it goes below, it turns it off. In the script manager, we're going to add a new script and then we're going to rename it. I'll call this one Master Volume Feedback. And then I'll attach the controller template, which is the Launchpad S. And then I'll scroll down to my new script, click on the add icon and add a new mode. And then in this mode, I'm going to click on the add icon and add a reaction. Just rename this reaction. And then to this reaction container, I'm going to add one child reaction. Then I'll click on the settings icon for this reaction and rename it to turn LED on. And then for the listener, I'll scroll down to the mixer section and select track volume. This means that the reaction will run whenever a volume in Ableton Live moves and that includes using a, a MIDI controller to move a volume. And then I'll just remove this preset condition for now. And next we're going to add a log message reaction. Going to leave the first text input blank and then select the parentheses from the second menu. And then I'm going to copy and paste the master volume value, which I have saved there. And then we're going to install the script into Ableton Live. And as it's a brand new script, we need to close and reopen Ableton Live from scratch. And then go to the Preferences menu. And then the MIDI tab. And select my controller. And then I'll select the new control surface which I've just installed. Now that I have this script configured, I'm going to open Ableton Live's log.txt file and just clear the contents of it. And then when I move the master volume up and down, the reaction is outputting the values that the master volume is sending. And these values go from 1.0, which is the very top of the master volume fader, all the way down to 0.0 at the very bottom of the master volume fader. So a quick calculation tells us that 25% will be 0.25. Next we're going to add a condition to check the value of the master volume. So I'm going to go back into my reaction and add a condition. 
and in the first menu I'm going to select master track and then I'm going to copy and paste a portion of this master volume selection paste it into the first input box and then in the second menu I'm going to select the greater than option leave the third menu selected as input and then in the final text input box I'm going to enter 0.25 Next I'll add a new reaction setting and select show message Then I'll leave the first text input empty and select the parentheses option from the second menu Leave the next menu as input and then in the last input box I'll add the value on And make sure it's wrapped in quotations or your script will error Then I'll install this into live reload live and now when I move the master volume up and down you'll see in the bottom left corner of Ableton Live it outputs an on value and due to the condition that we put into the reaction this is only output when the master volume is above the 25% point or 0.25 Now that we have our reaction configured for the on state, next is to duplicate the mapping and create a version for the off state. So we just click the duplicate mapping option and then in the duplicate change the name to turn LED off. Uh, in the condition we're going to change the operator to less than or equals to and then we just need to change the value which will be displayed in live status menu to off and then install that update into live and reload live and now when we move the master volume above and below the 25% point you can see in the bottom left corner that on and off are being displayed And now we're going to add the LED feedback settings to the reactions. So we'll add another reaction setting and then select the pad that I want to use for to send the LED back to, which is pad one in my case. Then in the first text input box, I'm going to enter dot send underscore value. Select the parentheses option from the second menu and then in the last text input box I'll add the velocity value 0 which will be sent to the pad and then I'll do the same in the turn LED on reaction but for the final text input box I'll send the value 127 which will turn the LED on and then install this update into live and reload live again and now you can already see the LED is lit up on my controller when I move the master volume up and down it's turning on when it goes above and below the 25% point <laughs> Um...